Hey there, so this is my first um, official review of the previous day. Uh, so if you have no idea what I'm doing right now, basically I put out a post yesterday where I said I'm gonna be building um, a, a client slash coaching business in public or in the productivity niche. And every single day, every single weekday, um, I'll be a, I'll be sort of updating individuals on LinkedIn about my progress, some of the actions that I took, some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. Uh, so yesterday, as an example, some of the things that I did was I worked, uh, it was the first day, uh, 3rd of January. So I worked on a bit of content and outreach strategy. Content strategy was figuring out um, where the content strategy uh, links to my outreach. Uh, so what kind of content do I wanna create on LinkedIn uh, to attract the right audience per se? And then how do I wanna reach out to the people that let's say, you know, like my post, comment on my post, or go and view my profile as an example. Uh, so I try to create a plan around that. Um, I'd say I'm decently happy with what I have. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. Second thing was I brainstormed ideas on how to grow my new newsletter that I started, uh, the Productive Human Lab newsletter, where I speak about once a week about, uh, you know, how to become more productive, waste less time, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll put a link in the comment to that, a link in the comments to that as well. Uh, and for that, I was just figuring out ways to grow that specifically. Uh, the launch was good. I'm sitting at about 45 subscribers, I think, around right now. Uh, but the goal is to hit 100 as soon as possible, 100 hopefully by the end of the month. Uh, and I've been thinking of what uh, could, how to potentially grow that. And I think one way I was thinking of was to create like a pretty simple lead magnet. So either like, uh, you know, a free online course or some sort of PDF uh, to get people uh, on that newsletter. Um, I've already run a couple of workshops. I've recorded workshops in the productivity space. I was thinking of maybe repurposing that into an online course, probably the most productive and easy way to create a lead magnet or do a simple PDF. Uh, I'm still brainstorming ideas. I haven't come up with what I want to do about that. I have a call with uh, my coach, my mentor, uh, Yasser, uh, who's, who's gonna be, who I'm going to be talking about it a bit more uh, about it later today. And um, third, I think is I did, we're out to my content for the week. Um, I know we had to batch it and publish all our content together. Uh, sorry, so it was like schedule all the content out together for the week. And then lastly, I also, and second last things I wrote my, wrote another edition for my newsletter and that I publish once a week, which I generally really enjoy writing out those newsletters. Uh, and lastly, I also reached out to five individuals. So yeah, build the outreach strategy out and I started to reach out to people, uh, you know, to get them on calls, uh, not to really sell them on anything, but just do more research on what specifically uh, the challenges people are having with productivity. Because if you don't know the challenges, you can't really build a program or course or, or uh, whatever you want out of that. Some of the insights I learned was, yeah, having a plan is important for sure, um, but it's not as important as actually taking action. So when I was building out my content and outreach strategy yesterday, um, I was sort of going into this idea of, you know, perfection, like it has to be perfect, otherwise I won't be able to succeed. And I think I spent about an hour on it, hour and a half, and I was like, what am I doing right now? Like, I'm just basically wasting time over here. Let's just pick something and move on. And in the times, times of the past as well, I struggled a lot with that, with just picking something and moving on. Instead, you try to look at the 10 different options that you have. You never end up actually taking any action. That goes my second point of perfection, sort of hampers your ability to actually take action. So just pick a path and move on. Uh, and lastly, um, batching my content creation has, has definitely been um, helpful for me. It's not for everyone. Some people are more creative and they just kind of, you know, can write content whenever. For me, it's more about kind of getting in that flow state as such. So I had to block out like 30 minutes of my calendar, time boxing, I've spoken about it in the past, but time boxing it, you know, block out 30 minutes of my calendar and just write out content and then block another 30 minutes to edit that content. Uh, so that's been really uh, helpful for me. This is a bit of a, yeah, so this is a uh, review of my first day of, of building, a, building a coaching business, the productivity space. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments, thoughts, questions. Uh, always open to hear that. Thanks.